Has your business gained access to an untapped labor force? Have you ever thought of hiring a person who has an intellectual disability? Individuals with an intellectual disability are ready, willing, and able to work. Many employers are finding it hard to find reliable long-term and motivated employees. People with disabilities are vastly underutilized by most industries. Hiring someone with a disability is simply the right thing to do. Accessible employment practices drive bottom line results, better job retention, higher attendance, lower turnover, enhanced job performance and work quality, and better safety records. Our first example of an employer benefiting from this untapped labor force is Voss, your independent grocer in Port Perry, Ontario. Hello, my name is Terry Voss. I'm the owner of the independent grocers in Port Perry. I'm a contact with Community Living to uh, take an opportunity of hiring those with intellectual disabilities to be part of my employment team. My first reservation was, would I be able to get the same productivity and the same work out of those that did not have any disability? I quickly learned that there was no barrier in that and that I actually got more productivity of hiring those with a disability because the uh, effort that was put forth was much, much greater. Hello, my name is Tyler Bierkness. I help out work at Voss Independent over four years and do the carrier, stock shelves, help customers, and bag. It's the reliability and dependability. We never worry about call-ins or, or sick time or anything like that. You're going to get staff that uh, care about your business, care about customers, and that are just hard workers. I love being busy all the time, not staying home on the couch, watching TV. They, they, their focus is to get to work and enjoy their jobs, and they enjoy their job very, very much. My name is Sean Alexander. I worked here for three years. Some of my duties are uh, carts, baskets, uh, returns, and helping customers out too for cars with groceries. Everybody has someone uh, within their family or someone they know or a neighbor, uh, and they talk about how Oh, my son and daughter works at Voss Independent Grocers and they, they come here looking for their neighbor, their friends or family members. My name is Gary McCullough and I've been working at Voss Independent for four years. My job here is I work in the freezer section. Uh, anything that basically goes into the freezers I end up handling. And sometimes I have some help but basically I'm the freezer man. Their loyalty to their job is amazing and they're here to work and they're happy and it brings the morale up. Hi, my name is Evan Dollard. I've been working here since January. I was a little bit nervous when I first started here, but now I'm not. I stack the shelves and keep them full. You should expect uh, a great attitude, a team player, uh, someone who wants to show up every day and work 100% uh, and they don't want to leave until the job's done. Now I come in to work. I know what I'm doing. I'm not nervous. I like having a job gives me something to do. You're Tom, you're John, you're Gary, you're not, oh yeah, that kid. I feel it's fulfilling my life basically when I work here because um, otherwise I'd be sitting at home and that's not very productive. I like being productive. Next stop is the Oshawa Clinic, where Joe has been working for over 20 years. He has helped with many of the day-to-day -day operations of this busy clinic. We've been working with community living for as long as I've been here, so it's, it's been over 20 years. And Joey's, Joey has been a part of that uh, since then, as well as Claire has been at this group as well for that time. Hello, my name is Joe Doherty. I have been working here for 20 years. I like having a job. It's because I got good, I got good friends to work with. I think it's been a, a very positive impact. I think some people might have some reservations at first, but I think you'd be surprised. I know people would be surprised at how the fit is. The first day I started in 93, that was with community living. Then I went part-time in 94, full-time in 95. The fit that we've had within the organization for, for Joey as well as Claire and anybody else we've talked to has been uh, an overwhelming success. They were always eager to please. They always show up to work. And you'd be surprised at the skill set that they bring and how, how much that they bring that you wouldn't have never thought that they would have brought in the first place. Uh, it's been a very positive atmosphere. 
Because of the many floors and buildings at the clinic, Joe is always on the move. So some of the things I do here, I do that work, the stuff from the dock to CSR. And I also do like a um, ER picture, make sure everything's all tidy up. They like team building, they like socializing with other with everybody else on the team and it's been it's been great. I mean it's been a great atmosphere and we uh, fit very well and I've become good friends with Joe throughout the years and we socialize and do things outside of work as well as inside of work. Good morning Keith. Good morning Joey. Thanks buddy. You're welcome. Have a good day. You see. Joe travels on the bus to and from work every day, but always has a little extra time to help out someone else in need. I thank you very much. Yeah. I like everybody that works here. I almost know everybody by name. Good morning, Joe. Good morning, Adios. No matter when you're hiring, just like anybody else, you just have to identify what it is that you're really looking for and see what the fit is in, in your organization. And uh, I, would, I would say that don't underestimate the value and the skill set that somebody, anybody could bring to you. And uh, whether it's from community living or just somebody, anybody applying, I think you, you have to have a good team that can bring out the skills in those individuals because they may be hidden inside a little bit and they might need a little coaching. But uh, I think that people will be pleasantly surprised. I know we, we were and I know that uh, with the right mindset and the right tra training and education, anybody can fit, especially those from community living. The positive aspect that they put back into the environment has been the biggest benefit that we've had. When given the opportunity and with appropriate support, people who have an intellectual disability make excellent employees. Increasing their employment rate would contribute significantly to addressing current and future labor shortages in this country. We know that this makes good business sense to utilize this untapped labor force.